like most teams in the offseason, the Bakersfield Christian Eagles had one goal in mind, and that was to return to a state championship game and bring home the football program's first ever state title. Not only did they do that, but they did it as they've done all year long in dominant fashion. The CAF Division 3A final didn't start in the Eagles' favor. First, they had to travel the five plus hours to Roanoke Park to take on Rancho Cotati, and then the weather wasn't too nice ahead of kickoff on Saturday night. The Cougars took advantage, starting out strong and taking a two score lead until Dominic Gamboni found Ben Urosic in the end zone as BCHS trailed 14 to seven at the half. But the Eagles just needed one thing to find themselves in the second half, and that was momentum. It's a cliche in sports for a reason, and that's exactly what the Eagles found in the third quarter. Jurassic would score two more times while running backs David Stevenson and Jess Wattenbarger also put touchdowns on the board as the Eagles took a 35-14 lead into the second half. And that's when the team knew it was over. Whenever Ben caught that tip pass and I, I just knew that closed it out and now it's game over. I think we all earned it. We worked hard since February. We prayed to God every day. We Even when we were down, we had to still be on 100% every day. The big lights kind of got in our face in the first quarter a little bit, I think, and then started getting our feet wet in the second quarter. And then I think we found our roots and started playing Eagles football in the third quarter and it really started clicking. Before the final whistle, BCHS scored once more and then defense did the rest as the Eagles won by a final of 42 to 21 and will be bringing home the school's second state championship. Something that's hard to sum up for the 17 seniors. Put it, I can't put it into words because it's all unwritten. And it's just, we're going to keep going from here. I'm a legend now, so it feels great. When I come back, people are going to come know my name, so it feels good. It took four years to do it and we finally did it. That's a, that's a dream come true, honestly. I'm kind of speechless right now. I can't even hear my voice, my own voice. I mean, I'm on cloud nine right now. I can't even explain all this work we've been putting in for nine, ten months. I mean, it really, this is the gratification through it all. And seeing your family, some of these guys not win any games last year, seeing the difference it makes, I mean, it's truly inspiring, and I love these dudes. The emotions are indescribable, to be honest. Um, just the excitement and uh, the love that we're getting right now is just amazing. And for a family like the Cars, it's not easy making your own football legacy, but winning a state championship may have just done that for head coach Darren Carr. It ranks up there, you know, uh, it, winning the Super Bowl, watching my brother win the Super Bowl and running past Tom Brady with his finger in the air. Uh, that was pretty special. But to do this and win it with my dad, my cousin, and my brother here, and uh, it just it makes every difference in the world, man. We, we just love it. At this school, with the great support we have and the great kids, you know, I know every coach says that, man, but it, it really is a special place, you know. Um, but just couldn't, couldn't be more thrilled for our school, for our city, and for, uh, for these kids. One memorable quarter that sums up one memorable season as the Bakersfield Christian Eagles are bringing home their first ever football state championship. Took the team three tries, and it took Darren Carr two, but the team is finally bringing the trophy home. From Rancho Cotati, I'm Carrie Osep for 23 ABC Sports.